morning, my peeps. Good morning, and I love you. Happy Tuesday. I already dropped off Allie this morning, and she told me that she's craving um, the salmon and asparagus that my mom made when she was here. So I'm here at Publix because I like their quality of seafood and produce better than Ingles. And I'm uh, going to grab the ingredients and then head home and get to work. Pumpernickel was at the house again last night. Glenn's not happy. He's like threatening to get a BB gun and everything. I'm like, pobrecito, leave it alone, you know? It's not hurting anybody. It's not pooping on the porch or, you know, harassing the cats. The cats seem to just, you know, consider it one of their own for whatever reason. But I know that that's not unusual because even my mom in Miami has a possum that comes and eats out of the cat's bowls. So I'll leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, guys, I better get this day started. Love you tons. Talk to you in a little bit. So you may wonder what I'm doing here, <laughs> but um, I noticed Kit Kat had a, was like coughing and sneezing a little bit. So I want to nip any kind of res upper respiratory infection in the bud. And since he's feral, I can't catch him easily and just take him to the vet. But I worked at a vet for four years, so I know what they give them is amoxicillin. And I buy this amoxicillin off of Amazon. It's, it's fish antibiotic, people. But tip. It works for people too. They just legally cannot say, you know, they have to say not for human consumption. But anyway, I go ahead and I buy these, you know, just so we have antibiotics in the house for anything. And uh, they're nice little capsules so I can just, you know, break them open. I believe these are, let me see, I can't remember. I think they're five, yeah, 500 milligrams. So 250 milligrams a piece. And I just bought these little cat food things and I'll break them up into two plates and then Miss Kitty gets one and Kit Kat gets the other. Um, and I just got these for them, you know, just so they would have a, it hides the uh, horrible taste of the uh, moxie. Um, Cause it's nice stinky, you know, like a tuna. You have to buy something stinky, but it's a good tip to know, you know. Of course, if you have a cat or any pet that's sick, the best thing to do is take them to the vet. But if you need a little shortcut for, um, you know, for a pet that you can't really get to the vet because they're feral or whatever. Well, the hard part is getting this open without spilling it. So let me just be kind of tender with this. Chewie wants to know what's going on and what smells so good. I'll have to let him lick the containers or else he'll start getting mad at the cats if they're getting something nice and he isn't. <laughs> oh, all right. Oops, I just spilled some. All right, let me go ahead and put a little there. And go ahead and put a little there. I just sprinkle it on top and then I'll mix it in. I'm just kind of eyeball to make sure I'm not putting more in one than the other. And I gave him some yesterday and I'm giving him some today and that'll be it. I'll just give him two days worth because it's also important that I don't compromise their natural immune system by making them antibiotic dependent. So but this way they can, you know, avoid getting real sick because upper respiratory in cats is pretty common and it's not a pretty sight when they get all their nose starts getting all gross and their eyes and definitely don't want them going into winter like that so let me go ahead and take this out there and catch them before they head out on their morning routines all right guys check in a little bit and there you have it the hardest part about it is just making sure that they each get one plate because Kit Kat's greedy, and we'll try to take both. <laughs> All right, got to log in. Check in, in a little while. So this is what Chewy decides to do. 
<laughs> we just had some lunch. Heated up some of that barbecue pork from last night. Made a sandwich. And he's crying to go out, but all he wanted to do was roll around. Now I've embarrassed him, so he's decided he's actually might consider doing what I brought him out here to do. <laughs> anyway, guys, just a quick check-in. Work is absolutely crazy, and I think that's the way it's going to be all the way through the end of January. So bear with me while I repeat myself. Cool shadow. Can you tell I have my robe on? No shame. Whoops. No shame. Well, guys, it's finally the end of the day, and what a day it was. Going to get dinner started here. Going to do this asparagus in the oven like I've done a couple of times already. Um, here's the recipe in case. Mm, focus, maybe, yes, no, yes. And there's the recipe for it. It's just baked in the oven just for a short amount of time, 10 minutes at 425. And then here's the uh, salmon that I got today. Uh, the way my mom prepares it is just with Worcestershire and teriyaki sauce. She just lets it marinate for about 20 minutes in there and throws it into a pan with a little bit of olive oil. I think it's 15 minutes on one side and about five minutes on the other. Something like that. Just, you know, enough to cook it through. And that's it, guys. It's just going to be a simple meal. So, got some greens in today. <laughs> anyway, let me get started.